U.S. election. Expert identifies key challenge for Ukraine if Trump wins. The main challenge for Ukraine in the event of Donald Trump's victory in the U.S. presidential elections lies in the likelihood that Washington will not engage in foreign policy for an extended period, including assistance to our country. This is stated by Alexander Krayev, an analyst at the Ukrainian PRISM Center. The main challenge is that for quite a long time, up to six months, maybe more, the United States will be busy trying to digest Trump and his new reforms. And it will not be clear whether Washington will be able to engage in foreign policy during this period to help Ukraine and other partners. One way or another, Trump will be problematic and a crisis. But I will not say that this is an apocalyptic scenario for us, Krayev added. In his opinion, Trump will be problematic and crisis-ridden anyway, but it is unlikely to be an apocalyptic scenario for Ukraine. We can see how his rhetoric can change. However, the point is that for us he is not so predictable as Biden, added the analyst. Ukraine will be particularly attentive to the elections in the United States, including because Trump's promise to end the war within 24 hours and hints at stopping aid cause concern. Although lately he has softened his rhetoric and Republicans who have blocked a $60 billion package have picked up his idea and are preparing a bill that would partially close Ukraine's military needs on credit terms. In any case, his possible victory will be a challenge for Ukraine. The U.S. presidential election is scheduled for November the 5th, 2024. According to forecasts, the main candidate from the Democrats will be the incumbent American leader, Joe Biden. From the Republicans, besides Donald Trump, former U.S. ambassador to the U.N. Nikki Haley took part in the race, but she withdrew from the race in early March. One person was killed and two injured in the attacks, according to the local governor. Kiev's forces have once again attacked Russia's border Belgorod region with drones, killing one person and injuring two others, Governor Vyacheslav Gladkov said, We've had a rough morning, Gladkov wrote on his Telegram channel, stating that unmanned aerial vehicles had attacked the Stereoskol and Cherniansky districts, and that regional capital, Belgorod, was hit by artillery, resulting in damage to private houses and apartment buildings, and an unspecified number of casualties, now the data is being clarified, I will definitely inform you a little later," the governor wrote, stating that all construction and emergency services are working at the scene and containing fires, particularly at one private residential building. Media reports have also stated that a business center in Belgorod was damaged in Saturday morning's attack. Meanwhile, Russia's defense ministry reported on Friday morning that it had stopped several attempts by Kiev to carry out terrorist attacks using aircraft-type UAVs, and that air defense systems had intercepted 12 drones over several Russian territories, namely Bryansk, Belgorod, Voronezh and Saratov regions of Belgorod region, along with other Russian territories bordering Ukraine, is frequently targeted by Kiev's drones and artillery. One of the deadliest strikes in recent weeks occurred on December 30th killing 25 people and injuring more than 100 others in Belgorod Russian President Vladimir Putin said earlier this month that Moscow could establish a cordon sanitaire on Kiev-controlled territories to protect the Russian population from indiscriminate strikes.